Harvey Hussain rescues Derbyshire after collapse. A tough fought innings from Lancashire, led by an impressive 94 from Josh Bohannon, saw Lancashire reach the close of play in Liverpool at 206 for 8. Derbyshire were frustrated, but they're just two wickets away from getting their own batting innings up and running. Quick scalps could see them edge in front in the game. Their wish was granted early on. Anuj Dahl found Morley's inside edge, and the number 10 had to depart for three. Reese finished it off. Burroughs flashed hard, but could only edge through to second slip. Lancashire all out for 219. They had Bahannon to thank for the bulk of those runs. His battling 94 provided some significant resistance to a fired up Derbyshire attack. Only Finn Hudson Prentice went wicketless for the visitors. Derbyshire's innings wouldn't get off to the best start though. Reese out for two in just the second over. Lavelle with his maiden catch behind the stumps. Lamb removed the other opener too. Captain Billy Godelman caught in the slips for six. The carnage continued. Three balls later, Deploy was gone, and Derbyshire's final aspirations were under threat. Balderson wasn't about to let Lamb have all the fun. He removed Madsen, out LBW for four. But relief came for the visitors in the form of rain. Their difficult start was curtailed, as lunch was called early. The interval was a prolonged one. Rain in the area prevented play from resuming until midway into the afternoon. Critchley and Hudson Prentice got started with their rebuilding job, the going slow at the resumption. They were the first Derbyshire batters to reach double figures, but the partnership wouldn't go much further. Critchley lost his wicket in bizarre circumstances. He ducked a full toss from Burrows, only to be given out LBW as it struck him on the thigh. A rare boundary saw Hudson Prentice take the total to 50, but he'd fall to Balderson caught in the slips for 19 as Derbyshire's collapse continued. Anuj Dahl could do little better. He too was removed by Balderson, out for just two. Derbyshire stumbled through to tee with the score 71 for seven. A dismal session for the group leaders at an end. Harvey Hussain and Matty McKinnon put a stop to the destruction. They held firm as they looked to reach three figures. The Derbyshire keeper was the man to take them there. Two runs off Morley was enough to reach 100. But it was tough going for the visitors, who found it difficult to find scoring opportunities. The failing lights did little to help them. Despite their struggles, the two stuck in there, and their determined batting was rewarded. The partnership worth 50, when Hussain picked up just his fourth boundary of the innings. Bad light brought play to a close. The score a much improved 120 for seven, Derbyshire just about back in the game, albeit with a lot to do on day three. Tomorrow could be pivotal to deciding who wins the North Group.